Welcome to today's lesson, Solving for Unknown Angles, Angles and Lines at a Point. We're going to begin by talking about vertical angles. Vertical angles are formed by intersecting lines. You see we have two intersecting lines here. So angle 1 and angle 2 are, in fact, vertical angles. And we also have another pair, 3 and 4. And if you notice, vertical angles are congruent to one another or their measures are equal. So the measure of angle one equals the measure of angle two, and the measure of angle three equals the measure of angle four. The next type we're gonna talk about are angles forming a right angle. So we have two angles here. We have angle one and angle two. And notice that we have a right angle here. That's what this box represents. So if you were to add up the measure of angle one and the measure of angle two, we would get the 90 degrees. So measure of angle one plus measure of angle two equals 90. And if you recall, two angles whose sum is 90 are called complementary angles. Our next type of angle, angles on a line or a linear pair. So if you notice in the first case, we have angle three, angle one and angle two that make up a line. So here's angle three, then we have angle one, and then we have angle two. If you were to add up the measures of all three of these guys, they would add up to 180. More specifically, if you have just two angles on a line, we can call that a linear pair. But in any case, we can call them angles on a line. So these are angles on a line, these are angles on a line. More specifically, when you have two angles on a line, you can refer to them as a linear pair. So measure of angle three plus measure of angle one plus measure of angle two equals 180. Measure of angle one plus measure of angle two equals 180. Angles whose sum are 180 are known as supplementary angles. Angles at a point. So we have a point here in the center. Angles at a point, if you were to add up all of their measures, angle one, angle two, and angle three, they sum to 360. So the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three equals 360. So from above, we're just going to define these terms, starting with complementary, two angles whose sum is 90 degrees, supplementary, two angles whose sum is 180 degrees, finally, adjacent. Adjacent just means angles that are right next to each other that share a common side and a common vertex. So here's an example. If you look at angles one and two, they share a common vertex and they share a common side. So two angles that share a common vertex and a common side are called adjacent. Two angles that share a common side and a common vertex. Now, in example one, we're going to do some exercises that involve the types of angles that we've talked about on the front page. So, in the very first example, it says, find the measure of each labeled angle and give a reason for your solution. So, if you look at angle one, it's located right next to this measure of 145. And if you remember from the front page, these are called a linear pair or angles on a line and they are supplementary. So in order to find the measure of angle one, we would do 180 minus 145. That's gonna give us 35. And the reason again, you can either say angles on a line or you can say linear pairs since there are just two. Remember, angles on a line will work every time. 
Okay, the measure of angle two from the front page. Remember, angles formed by intersecting lines are known as vertical. So angle two and angle 40 are vertical. So the measure of angle two, therefore, has to be 40 because vertical angles are congruent. So vertical angles. Now we still have to find three and four, so I'm gonna just put the 40 in here. If you look at two and three, those two lie on a line, or you can call them a linear pair. And from the front page, remember, a linear pair are supplementary. They have to add up to 180. So to find the measure of angle three, we're just gonna do 180 minus 40, which is gonna give us 40. 140, I'm sorry. Now, going back to what we just talked about, how we found angle two, it's vertical with 40. Three and four are also vertical. So if three is 140, four is also 140. And these angles on a line, 140 vertical angles. Okay, over to angle five. These are angles at a point. So remember, angles at a point have to sum to 360. So in order to find angle five, we're gonna do 360 minus 122, and that's gonna give us 238. And that's gonna be angles at a point. Okay, moving on to example two. It says, use the following diagram pictured to the right to answer the following. Name an angle supplementary to HZJ. Now, if you're not sure where angle HZJ is, you can always take your highlighter and highlight it. So here's HZJ. Now, angles that are supplementary, if you recall, are angles on a line or a linear pair. So... If we can find another angle on the line with H, well, if we can find another angle on line HF that is adjacent to HZJ, then we found the supplementary angle. So let me highlight the straight line. We have HZJ. Now I'm looking for the missing angle that would lie on the line with HZJ. So this is our missing angle right here. Now there's two ways to name this. You can name it either JZF or FZJ. Just make sure that the vertex is in the center. So JZF or FZJ. Again, make sure that the vertex is in the center. And the reason for this could be linear pair or angles on a line. Okay, down to example B. Name an angle complementary. So now they're gonna add up to 90 to HZJ and provide the reason. So let's locate um, HZJ again. Again, it's the yellow right here. Now we need an angle so that when we add it together with HZJ, we're gonna get 90 degrees. So I'm gonna come over here Here's my 90 degree angle, AZH. So what piece is missing to give me AZH would be this angle on top. I'm gonna to put three arcs right here. I'm gonna shade it in so you can see it. And you can name it either AZJ or JZA, your choice.
make sure that you put the vertex in the middle. And the reason for that from the front page, they're angles that form a right angle. Okay, down to part C, name an angle congruent to HZJ and provide the reason. So the pair that were congruent on the front page were the vertical angles. So let's see if we can find an angle that's vertical with HZJ. So vertical angles are formed by intersecting lines. Here's HZJ, and then we're gonna just continue with the intersecting lines. So we have HZJ, and the angle across from it is either FZG or GZF, your choice. And the reason for that is vertical angles. Okay, moving on to the next example. Example one. Find the measure of each labeled angle and give a reason for your 